Are you ready to dive into the world of procedural generation? In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to create a stunning and realistic cliff generator using Blender's powerful geometry nodes. Creating the cliff generator in Blender 3.6. Start by adding a curve line and adjusting its length. Add a curve to points node and customize the point count. Connect an instance on points node and use a rock shaped mesh as the instance. Introduce random rotation values. Control cliff scale by adding a capture attribute node after the curve. Use the spline parameter factor for the capture attribute value. Use a map range node to adjust attribute values and connect it to instance scaling. For random rotation, employ a rotate instance node, adjusting Z axis rotation and pivot points. Use a realize instance node, converting to mesh using mesh to volume, and then back using volume to mesh to obtain the base cliff mesh. To add detail, use a set position node. Create and connect a noise texture for offsets. Use multiplication to control the strength. Create a noise texture mapping by adding a position node and an attribute statistic node. Connect and manipulate the values to achieve the desired effect. Achieving the wavy pattern. To add plants, use a separate geometry node to isolate top faces. Apply a separate XYZ node with normal connections and color ramp adjustments to control selection. Distribute points on faces using a distribute points on faces node. Adjust density with vector math operations. Use an instance on points node to add a collection of plant instances. Ensure to adjust settings like separate children and reset children as needed. Apply randomness to rotation and scale using the random value node. Combine the cliff and plants using a join geometry node. Material for the cliff. Create a cliff material using box projection and connect textures to a texture coordinates node, then link it to a mapping node. Connect this setup to the desired material group. Use various texture variations to break repetition. Use Z-normal and ambient occlusion as masks. Connect textures to create a realistic cliff material. This how I created the procedural cliff generator using Blender geometry nodes. Thank you.